Greg Ruff and Ryan Schmalz, baseball coach here at Trevecca, and got some baseball yep. coming. You guys are already underway, and, and it's just – it is amazing to me how the winter's going, and all of a sudden, boom, there's games, and you guys are in regular season mode already. Yeah, it it, uh, it comes really, really fast. I mean, we're nine games in, and I just had a, a quick meeting with the guys the other day. I mean, that's almost 20% of our season. You know, it's complete, you know, and, and – um, it's a sprint in college baseball, you know, and, and it, um, it sure don't feel like baseball weather out there and, <laughs> you know, still February, but, um, you know, we're, we're right in the middle of it. All right. I want to talk about something that we didn't last time in, in the interview, and I want to talk about the, uh, the, the club that you have formed for, and I've just lost the name. Yeah, the Dugout Club. Dugout Club. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm old, right? <laughs> well, it makes two of us. Uh, the, dug, the Dugout Club is something that's really cool, and, and you kind of threw it in there last minute with – you know, the concrete going in, the patio and all that kind of stuff, and then the padding at the facility. And it just looks great. And we don't even have all the grass growing in yet. But talk about the yeah. Dugout Club and, and what that is. Because I had a lot of people ask me about it. I wanted it to be in your yeah. words sure. what the Dugout Club is, how they can get involved in that. Well, we actually started the Dugout Club as a booster club mm -hmm. uh, in August. Yes. We kicked it off. And it's just a way of, uh, you know, for people to support the baseball program. Mm -hmm. There's different levels of giving from, uh, you know, $100 all the way up to, you know, 5000 if somebody wants to give, yeah. you know, give money. And, and that would be and a, you could give more if you wanted to. You could give as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't signed up yet, by the I way. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Working so on that. The, uh, you know, you can, you, can, um, you can go online and do it. It's on, on the web page and uh, social media and so forth, several, you know, ways you can sign up. And then... Um, you know, we're able to raise a little bit of money, yeah. and that area behind third base uh, is a pavilion area, and we're calling that the Dugout Club, and that's for members, uh, you know, of the club. To um, It's a great place to watch a game. Yeah, it is. We it just really actually is. got some grills we're going to put out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people can bring, uh, you know, chairs, and there's picnic tables. And um, my vision for that is, you know, to see a bunch of alums out there, parents, uh, supporters, fans, just people who want to support the, the baseball program congregating out there um, as opposed to visiting fans mm -hmm. who, who sometimes like to take that area over. Um, you know, and, and when we're playing home games, I love that to be kind of a, uh, you know, a place where people can catch up and, and you know, uh, reminisce and, and support the baseball team at the same time. And, and um, That's what baseball brings, doesn't it? I, I, I mean, think it when, does. when you go, I, I can, I mean, my favorite moments of baseball uh, as an adult, are going to the Braves games with my mom. Yeah, you know, I would go home for a weekend on from from Trevecca, and we'd go to a Braves game. Yeah. That's what we did. Yeah, and we'd sit there and we would talk for two and a half, three yeah. hours. A and it's like that everywhere. I mean, you yeah. could go and watch the Nashville Sounds play. Yes. you see families, you see kids running around. Uh, it's just a great environment. It's a great experience, um, and and you can casually watch the game at the same time. Mm -hmm. But you don't got to be locked into every single pitch and. Yeah. Uh, you can just go and, and enjoy the people that you're around and the baseball game at the same time. And, um, you know, that was kind of my vision for, for having that, that area set up there. And this weekend, people have a chance. There's a lot yep. more chances in this 50th baseball season for people to come out and watch you. And I know uh, Saginaw and Lewis this weekend. Just talk about those games. Yeah, big weekend. Uh, two more regional opponents, both very good uh, opponents coming in. Saginaw, they've won a few um, you know, beat some really good teams already, as has Lewis. They opened up down at Lee. Mm. Uh, got a game from Lee last weekend, and, and Lee's a really good club. And um, they're always competitive. We played them both last year, uh, you know, and played played really good games with them. And um, anytime you play in-region opponents, uh, you know, as it pertains to, to potential postseason um, bids and regionals and so forth, every one of those games is really, really important. And and not only that, we just got to got to keep playing games and getting in competitive environments to get better, yeah. you know, as a team, and uh, especially as we're headed into the to the conference schedule. You can find out more about Trevecca baseball, about the dugout club, and everything else. The 50th anniversary this year that we're celebrating at TNUTrojans.com.